Okay. Uh, finance committee meeting for April 5th. Dr. Jones? Here. Councilor Walton? Councilor Alamon? Here. Councilor Smith? Here. And Councilor Harden? Are either of those on Zoom or are they both absent? All right, so you got. Is anyone on Zoom? So you have Gwaltney and Harden. Okay. Absent, but you still have a quorum. Well, we have a quorum, so so we're 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 good to go here. Okay, uh, is there a motion to uh, dispense with the reading of the minutes and approve them as distributed? So moved. Second. There's okay. gonna be a lot of me and Carlos going. Okay, on. moved by <laughs> Mrs. Smith. Second, second by Mr. Alamon. Uh, any other discussion? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That's three to zero. All right. Um, 1601-15, uh, uh, update on past, present, and future sidewalk projects. Mr. Pugh. Yes, sir. Uh, the only thing going on still is uh, Rumson uh, sidewalk project down on Shades Creek. Um, they, they had to get some electrical lines straightened out. That's done now. They've got one more piece of pipe to put in, and then they can redo the sidewalk. Should be done by next Tuesday or thereabouts. And, and can I ask you a question, yes. um, Mr. Pugh, on the other side of Lakeshore in front of Brookwood, because you know they're putting in that giant new pipe okay. right where the sidewalks used to be, and some parts of it are. Um, I assume that Waterworks is going to be re putting all of those sidewalks back? They absolutely are supposed to. I'll, I'll get with Chris Thacker on that because he's. They are. They are Berkeley. Okay. okay. Thank you. I just noticed how much they had torn up as of today. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Anything else? Um, and we're just going to carry it over for more updates as we go through. Yes, so if that's okay. Hey, and I'm going to bug you a lot tonight. Okay. Did you say Rumson would be done by next Tuesday? That's what I was told by okay. the contractor. Today. I was making sure I just had the right thing in there. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have a party? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gonna. We're gonna have a potluck. We can't can't afford yeah. anything after. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, let the record reflect. Mr. Harden is uh, has joined us. All right. Um, don't move. Yes, Thirteen ten twenty. Uh, yes, request to add handicapped parking space on 29th Avenue. Uh, now you told me you're going to have this for tonight, but I did. Uh, I take it you don't. We, we don't. We're you're still working on it. Well, I've, I got one, one more estimate, and I, I did for yes, sir. We we have two estimates in total. That that first one that we got, we got a second one meantime from Bulls Construction. It was nine thousand dollars for for the ramps except for the one in front of the hotel, which would include a drainage grate, was $12,000. Um, the second estimate that I was waiting on, I'd hoped to have by now. I called the man twice today. I was told by his office that he would call me back. He has not yet. I, I have since learned of a couple of other contractors who may be interested. I could, I could continue. Well, um, I feel responsible. I'm the one that requested additional quotes because the the one that was originally proposed was much greater than what was our normal. Yes, sir. So, um, I mean, what can we do to expedite this? I mean, do we just need to move? What is your recommendation at this point? Well, we could certainly move forward. We've got. I mean, we can just we can just decide on which contractor we we want to choose and maybe try to negotiate with them. If, if that's possible, um, I, I suspect we're probably going to end up getting roughly the same estimate over and over and over. That's my feeling. So your so basically your recommendation is to but yes sir. approve up to nine thousand dollars and let you uh, I'm negotiate. So. Okay. That's fair. Yes, sir. Okay. Can we um, have him, if, if that other guy does call you back and you feel confident that he'll do the job he's supposed to do mm -hmm. at a number that's enough less to, I would say, we ought to allow him to, you know, maybe pick that guy and negotiate with him. Is that, can we do that? Understandable. 
And I was just going to ask Mr. Burgett, uh, yes. is, is this coming out of the, the sidewalk line item or the, uh, or, or the one that we set aside for handicapped spaces? Well, I would, is, since this is an existing sidewalk, I would think it would come out of sidewalk repairs since we're adding a, co a, a handicapped cutout to an existing sidewalk. Okay. And that, and that line out also is our ADA compliance line item. So that's where it's okay. I, okay. I remember we had the ADA line item. So I, didn't, I didn't know if that was coming out of that. So, and the theory behind that was anything we do repair wise has to be ADA compliant. So let's make it one line. <laughs> okay. I would also recommend that we, we, um, approve enough to do one on each side. Um, I, I think that would provide the best accessibility and with the variance in cost i would say i would recommend approving up to ten thousand per i think that would give enough money to do both sides okay so you're saying one on the um, urban cookhouse house side and one on the real and rosemary side that's correct okay but so are we also including the one in front of the hotel or is that for a different time it, you mentioned the one in front of the hotel. You said you, that was going to be twelve. The the one the one in front of the hotel he quoted is twelve. Yeah. Um, d depending on which one we, we we think would be the, I guess the simplest to move forward with the quickest. Uh, because of that, I would recommend approving up to ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars per. That would give us the option. Okay. How many are there? Three. Five. Five. Total. Yeah, just to clarify for my request, it was just for the parking just spaces that we added in front of Real and Rosemary, Big, ba Big Bad Breakfast, Perfect. that area. Yeah, we added like between 19th Place and 19th something. Is it whatever that Yeah, 19th Street to 19th Place. We, I think we added 12 parking spaces. So for my, just from point of reference, my request was just for one for those 12 parking spaces. So whatever you want to add on to that. but. But he's suggesting that we need two on that As spot, so that there's one on either side, which makes sense, honestly. I mean, if you're going to have parking spaces, you need places yeah, for people if, to access. If you get out there and look at it, you realize just having one on one side, it, it doesn't really, if someone can't get parking on that side, it makes it difficult to get yeah. something over sure. there. What, uh, what is the total recommended expenditure, total? It sounds like 50000 Oh, you mean with, with the, with, if we did all of the Sorry. ones what? that were designed, okay. <laughs> there are five Let's of them, and he's saying yes. what $1, is $1, okay. What is the twenty five oh four twenty? I mean, I'm sorry, thirteen ten twenty. What is the request to do five for two, two one on either side, one on the Urban Cookhouse side, one on the Real and Rosemary side, two. Yes, at ten thousand dollars each, up to that is correct. Okay. And I think the other ones, right? What, so we're talking about if we do other ones, we probably need to do a different item for those. Yeah. Okay. And we can bring that up during the budget. I just uh, had a question. Yes. One of clarification: We had approved the sidewalk cutouts and fixes over by Hall Kent Elementary School. That's not what we're talking and about. Right? Right? Well, That's hold not on. What we're talking about. Hold on, Mr. Wolfram. We're not talking about that. Okay. I, I know, but I don't want that to be bypassed because that was already well, uh, supposed but we're to not, be done. So if, if it's okay. the same contractor, I was trying to make sure. I, that, I don't care. That's still in the process. It's not what we're talking about. I want clarity. I, I don't want further confusion. So well, I'd so, like to handle things in the order that we had approved them previously. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So what we're talking about here. And th this is why this is why I like for Public Works to provide a clear recommendation of what you want done because I, I mean it's now I understand yes sir but when it comes to finance I, I just want to know like what what is the recommendation so it's going to be you're you're rec recommending up to twenty thousand dollars for handling the handicapped parking spaces on 29th Avenue with the new angled parking spaces yes sir. Okay, thank you. And so we'll, we'll just need to add a separate item for whatever the additional three are. So we'll handle that separately. Yes. And if we can send that to Public Works, yes. that would be great. I would yes. really appreciate that. Yes. Do I need to send something from this referral? Y'all gonna give me a new one on Wednesday on last call for the new three items? We'll, we'll work on that between now and Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I would make a motion to approve um, expending up to $20,000 for two handicapped uh, parking spaces and cutouts um, on 29th Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. Second. Uh, and that's coming out of uh, the, the sidewalk. sidewalk line item. Yeah, it's twelve it's twelve eleven, but we'll have to change the rest of it. I don't know the rest of the object number. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's been moved by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Alamon. Uh okay. Thank you for your patience with me. <laughs> um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same time. <laughs> okay, that is uh, four to zero. Okay, uh twenty five oh four uh seventeen. Request for consideration 18th revitalization project and uh, Keith Strickland's here to update us on the project. I would move that we go into executive session. Okay. Your conversation will be limited to discussing the purchase of property. All right. Uh, it's, is there a motion from finance to uh, uh, I, I move I make to a motion that session. we move into executive session. Okay. I'm sorry. To discuss second. Purchase second. Process, okay, second. Second. I appreciate second. that. And second by Mrs. Smith. We we love you anyway. But uh, and we're going to yes. try to make this quick. Yes, that's uh, my my motion. 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes, um, and then we'll. Uh, okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All opposed by the same sign. Okay. That's four to zero. And we will be right back. Um, Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion to uh, end our executive session and go back into regular session. Okay, move, uh, second. Moved by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Harden. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Okay, that's uh, four to zero to uh, uh, go into regular session. Is that three? Okay, three to zero. Four to zero. Four to zero. It's four to zero. Okay, four to zero. Um, okay, so any other comments on 2504.17 before we move on? Yeah, I've got uh, one quick one. Um, so the there an agreement has been reached with the Board of Education um, with regard to their parcel, um, and Mr. Pugh has informed me that the um, that the agreement between them they're looking to present to their board on the 22nd is yes, that right that's correct so i'm going to add that agreement to other new business for monday night uh, to keep us on track and not lose any momentum with right. <laughs> at least one property um but if anyone has any questions about it he's i don't even think mr kendrick has reviewed it yet uh, he's he's going to send it to us uh this week but if anyone has any questions about that mr pew is here to answer them, but it'll it'll show up in other new business on Monday. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, okay, so we'll carry it over without objection. Oh four oh three twenty one bid opening for uh, April nineteenth uh, at four thirty one. <laughs> yes, sir. We um, been working with uh, Stefan uh, from Sane Engineering. And I've learned more than what I want to know about how to do engineering. Um, All right, well, we don't want to know. We don't want to know. <laughs> I wasn't going to um, tell you, but um, we do have something that um, has been uh, that is going out to today uh, to the, our posting sites and also to the Alabama Messenger. It only has to be posted for one week. Um, and that's really an abundance of caution. It really doesn't have to be posted at all. But Mr. Kendrick and I discussed maybe one week to be safe. So we are still set for the 19th. Wonderful. So we'll carry it over uh, pending the uh, bid opening. Uh, Twelve o three twenty one. Request to authorize individual project order for Kimley Horn and Associates to provide design construction documents for placement of sidewalk options through Mecca. Um, the do you have? Uh, I think uh, I had spoken to Mr. Pugh, and um, we were thinking to maybe carry this over till we have um, the engineer. Our, Perfect. Or is that? I, I'm totally on board with you're that. You're totally on board with that. Yes, okay. sir. 
So we're just going to carry it over. Uh, we'll have that person in place, and then that person can make the decision if we want uh, how we want to handle that. Okay, so we're going to carry it over without objection. Okay, 130321, request here proposal from Avenue regarding delinquent business license recovery. And uh, we have uh, uh, Ms. Yolanda Watkins here, and I apologize that we've delayed you coming up here. And uh, Mr. Burgett said that you had five minutes, so now you have 30 seconds. Now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. You, you, you still oh, have, have you. a few minutes. We have the proposal. Yes, sir. But it, it sounds like, I mean, the, the good news on this is that you're looking for companies that are not currently paying uh, their business license that are not in the city of Homewood. Yes, And sir. it's really a no-risk uh, proposition for Homewood as that it's a contingency fee, so you're, we're only going to pay if you are able to secure those uh, uh, business license fees. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, typically, we charge 50-50 split, but um, I want to offer Homewood a special deal at 65-35 split um because and in that packet i put together an excel spreadsheet which shows um several cities that we've done it for within um birmingham within jefferson county as well as some cities similar size to homewood we will focus mainly on those cities that are those businesses that are outside of the area because typically your locals are always the ones that are paying it's those that are coming from outside your surrounding areas that come in do what they got to do and leave back out um but like like uh, Mr. Jones said, that it is gonna. We only get money if we recover money on your behalf, and then we'll split the money 65-35 and turn over all the information to you. So going forward, all of that revenue belongs belongs to you all, and we can go back three years and charge penalties and interest according to what your business license schedule states. Okay, great. Any 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 questions for Ms. Watkins? And Mr. Burgett, do you have any comments or do any, you have any, anything to add? Uh, no, sir. It's covered, covered really well for us. Okay. Um, as long as we're on the 65% side. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. contract will say that, I promise. Okay. Okay. When, when would you start this process? Um, we can start as soon as possible. Um, typically, it takes us about 30 to 60 days to get all the information into our system. And we um, send out a letter, which um, Ms. Salter and Mr. Burgett can approve that letter and make changes to before we actually send it out. Um, and we'll get started as soon as possible. And it will be, um, I think I told Mr. Burgett, we could do a one year contract just so you can see okay. the findings. And can I ask you, uh, Robert probably knows this too, but uh, we do contract with River Tree. So how does that interact with River Tree? Um, it's totally a different service than what River Tree. I think they're mainly focusing on when they're doing audits, they're trying to identify businesses that are not paying that way. We're focusing more on the business license part of it. We're not doing an actual audit where we're going in physically looking at books or anything like that. So, so we don't have to coordinate. No, y'all mm -mm. knowing what they're mm -mm. what you collected or they know. Nope. You have to comply with the taxpayer relief. Excuse me. You have to comply with the taxpayer relief. The taxpayer relief act. The taxpayer bill of rights. Yes. Yes, we still have to comply with that part of it. Okay, if you can get the agreement uh, from Mr. Kendrick to review, uh, and then we'll we'll look at that. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Chair. Thanks. I just have one question. Do we have any idea what the outstanding balance of these, uh, I guess, licenses are as far as that meet this category? Just any kind of estimates on what this would ultimately, what total sum we're trying to recover? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think they really have a number until they okay. start working on it. I just uh, wondered if we knew anything. Uh, I want, okay, I want them to beat Vestavia if we can. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what that's Vestavia and Bessemer, boy. I mean, really. Man. And that's Look over a few years now because we currently still have contracts with them, but that's over a few years now. <laughs> that just didn't happen in one year. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a lot of no, people. it didn't happen over one year. It's oh, multiple years. Multiple okay. years. Okay. Okay. A lot of We're people good. in those cities not paying their license. Um, so would, the, uh, would the appropriate motion be to approve um, allowing Avenue um, to start seeking out delinquent business licenses outside of the city limits uh, pending review of their agreement? Yes, Is it I a think that's. That you want the mayor to sign? Yeah. Yes. So it's going to be uh, be authorized for the mayor to sign it. Okay. Too, All right. So that would be my motion. Okay. Whatever I just said. Moved by Mr. Smith. Second. Second by Mr. Harden. 
And if we have any questions this week, we might reach out to you. That's but fine. I our think card is in the packet. Feel free to email me or call me on the phone. That's fine. All right. Uh, thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That is now still five, right? Five to zero. Hey, Yolanda, do you actually have a contract in this, or does Robert have one we can send to Mr. Peter? You got to send one. Do you have an updated contract? I don't have one for Are we going to send you one? Yes, I'll send you one. I'll make sure I send it to all three. before Monday. Okay, I will. Look, he can have a chance to review. Okay, that'll be fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, our last item, 1403-21, uh, request to amend 2021 budgets. Uh, these were sent out. There's only one item on there. Uh, yeah, there's just one item for the uh, vehicle maintenance inspection department. Okay. Okay. So that's really all uh, that was um, part of the uh, amendment tonight. We'd move to uh, approve amending the budget. Okay. okay, moved by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Alamon. Okay, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign, five to zero, that passes. Anything else tonight? Thank you for everyone's patience with me, especially. Um, with that, we're adjourned.